The Combat Cast starts now. And they are back. He uses them in some of his combos, his throws. Let's do the other one because it's super cool. We, Steve, we actually played today a little bit. I was playing against your Liu Kang, and uh, you're pretty good with him so far. Yeah, well, Liu Kang is actually one of my favorite characters in MK. Which surprised me. I didn't know that. And he's, uh, I don't know if this is true for this uh, for MK11, but he was he's just generally simple to play with yes. a lot of a lot of payoff. And that's definitely true. So Gosh. there are some things about him though, uh, like we always talk about with our games. It's yes. like there's some stuff that's on the upper level that like yeah. maybe you never have to even get to. There's some stances. There's some stuff like that. Um, right. So he doesn't always use his nunchucks. I wouldn't call him a weapons character. It sure. more kind of complements it. He still has his martial arts moves, which still look super cool. Blue Kang's always had some of my favorite kicks in our games. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of that, the stomp. Shaolin stomp, bam. I'm excited to see more people as the game, as people get their hands on the game, using those hop maneuvers more often. Yeah. Because they, uh, they're some of my favorite things to do, and sometimes, like when you're when you actually just fake a wake up and do a short hop, and people are waiting for the wake up, you can get the overhead sometimes right. if they're ducking if they're ducking low. So his base loadout for special moves is exactly what you'd expect it to be. It's classic, straight up classic, classic Mortal Kombat 2. He has a really good fireball. You can amplify it, and it's super fast. Good damage. Flying kicks back. It's it's flying kick. Yeah, it's what you expect. The amplified is sort of new. He does this cool flip. It's a great combo ender. It's a great check from full screen. Mm -hmm. It actually has a crushing blow on it with a pretty unique uh, requirement? requirement. So what you have to do is you have to hit an air fireball from full screen at max distance. Oh, oh that's awesome. <laughs> you convert it like that, you get the crushing blow. I'm going to get that every time. That actually, as a Liu Kang player, something will probably happen quite yeah, a bit. It is, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it sounds like you have to do this, this, and this, but it's something that you naturally do since like MK3. Air fireballs with Liu Kang, it's what right. you do, right? Like Bike kicks back, and it's actually been changed up a little. The meter burn one, he does multiple. And then this is what really makes me happy. This is We're about to just do my favorite thing about Liu Kang. He can double it and just do just it for 100 years. Push you the corner, that's awesome. Yeah, it, yeah. It is. And then once you're in the corner, you're in Liu Kang's territory. Right, yeah, I definitely think Liu Kang excels there. Um, now there is a... Uh, there's a crushing blow with the with the bicycle kick. Yes, this one is actually after three meter burns. The three? Meter yeah, match? you have to meter burn it three times. No, no, no. Okay. Has to do it three times in a, in a match. Yeah, in a match. I gotta get my stamina back. Look at this. Show us some swaggy combos, by the way. You got swaggy combos. There's no meter. Yeah. Oh. All right. So then the third time. Wait, I didn't meter burn. It. So now I have it loaded. I've done yeah. three. Now the next time I do regular, it'll Ooh. go into the crushing blow. That's so it's interesting that it's actually the regular one that does it, but you have to do the amplified one three, three times, times before you right. can get it. Well, because you have no meter anymore. Right, right. Yeah. exactly. So let's go over the loadout I made here. Now, the just for everyone knows, uh, there'll be two loadouts per character today. Yes. Because we're doing three characters right. and we want to... we got to cruise through We, this, we don't want to keep everybody on watching us all day because there's also beta to play. Right. So, so right. the first move I gave him is his Shaolin parry. It behaves as you'd expect from a parry. It'll beat mids and highs. He'll knock you away. The cool mm. thing is he can actually amplify it, and he gets a pop-up. Oh, you should have gone to the bicycle kick, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> get put in the corner. Now, the reason I wanted to show this is it also has a really cool crushing blow requirement. It's if you parry a wake-up attack. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that is cool. Just the one inch punch. Yep. Uh, that's yep. awesome. Yeah. And one thing that's it's neat. a lot of damage, too. And it's kind of rare with crushing blows, is it's before the amplified, and you can actually still amplify. It. Oh, no, you can't. Woo! So that is a <coughs> good amount of damage. You told me not to say Hema damage, so I won't. Yeah, because no one knows what Hema means. But can if we I say Hella? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah I would describe that as Shaolin Hella damage. Hella damage. I mean, you are, you know, you're using your. So your crushing blows right there. Yes. Yeah. And remember, you can only use the crushing blow once per game. Mm -hmm. So even if you read that they're going to do wake up attack and you're going to win anyway, you actually don't want to use it. Yep. The second thing I gave him in this loadout is his fire buff. You turn this on and it increases the damage for all of his attacks, and it sets up a second ability that I equipped, which is his teleport. This is a brand new move. Ooh. He'll warp behind them, and this actually has different versions. For example. 
He can drop down if you hold up into an overhead. It's a super quick overhead. Or actually sweep you. So it becomes a 50-50 mix-up off of a teleport. But he has to have the fire on. Exactly. Only when he has the fire on. So for the custom variation system, this is actually pretty in-depth because you have to have the buff on and then the teleports on. Right. So that's taking up two of your slots right. for a very, very powerful. I was going to say, I mean, it seems to be pretty damn worth it. Yeah. For, for a 50 50 mix up like that, which obviously doesn't lead to full combos, right. but as a player who's playing against Liu Kang, he has the fire on. Now's the only time I need to worry about that. Right. What's he going to do? He's going to just yep. instantly mix it. So if it's the fire buff's on, I'm not too scared about that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's cool. I love neat. connecting uh, like air fireballs to anything. Like, it's yeah. just the most fun thing in the world. So there's a pop up, obviously, there's a back two. Yeah, that's back two. All right, one more loadout. One more loadout. Let's see it, Steve. Let's go over his human variation. This is my Liu Kang. Yeah. The classic, like, MK2, the hero of the Earth Realm, mm -hmm. the goody-goody guy. That's that's Liu Kang I play. And I think he looks super cool. I like his pants and a lot. Can we take a minute to appreciate this background? Because it looks awesome. Yo, yeah, Shaolin Trap Dungeon is so cool. So, real quick also, uh, we will be getting to a fatality for each character. Yes. We're going to do it in a quick little uh, versus match to make yes. it easier. And we will show you, of course, the uh, crush, the uh, fatal blows. Fatal blows. So this loadout, I wanted to be based on his nunchucks, and I gave him a couple of nunchuck moves. The first one is actually, I don't think Liu Kang's ever had one before, a command grab. Mm. It's like a full-on, it's not like a an attack throw, it's an actual command grab. And it has a really cool amplify where he gets additional damage. And then he has a stance. You go into it, and now you have a few options. One is an overhead. Ooh, it goes into this auto combo. Four is actually a low that goes into an auto combo. And then the coolest is he gets a projectile absorb. Give me that. Give me that. Now, here's the cool thing about that. Tell us. You've done how many? There's three different attacks out of it and a projectile yes. absorb. Now, similar to Jackie Briggs, who has a uh, her her clinch set up. Once you've done all of those attacks, you've loaded up a crushing block. Wow, it's like you guys practiced that. Yeah. That was really good. So, when you're fighting Liu Kang in the stance, you have to keep track of which moves he's done. And that means he also has to successfully absorb a projectile. Mm -hmm. So you could literally, if he's done the first two attacks, stop doing your projectile so he doesn't have a chance, or bait out the Liu Kang going into the stance and do like a double projectile. Or, sure. There's a whole bunch of mind games. And then he'll have it loaded, and the next time he does stance one, He's gonna get that pop up into a combo. Yeah. Cool. What happens if he plays against a character with that projectile? Then he can't get then it. Then he just can't do it. Yep. Uh, what do we got left? That's Liu Kang. All right, Fatal Blow. Fatal Blow. Let's do it. I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Now a lot of people on Twitter thought that was his fatality. Oh, yeah. little do you know. They folks. didn't realize the, the the sort of the the, the, the background and the lighting, yeah. how that all changes for those. Um, so no, that is actually it's just a fatal blow. We come from different worlds, Johnny. Aren't you from Earth Realm too? I mean, I come from the real world. Wow, straight wow. roasted. Wow. So now Steve's gonna play against the computer and just do cool uh, Liu Kang stuff to, till he gets to the end. Let's see it. Oh. Okay. Um, one thing that Ed had touched on at Comic-Con is if a variation or uh, building your variation system is you can actually kind of build classic versions of the characters, the classic Scorpion, classic uh, Liu Kang. So yes. it's, it's really cool to see what we can classic Jade, right? You may have noticed I did not do low Fireball. That is not base loadout. But if you want that, that is an ability that you can choose to use. Right. I, I personally use that when I play him. Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. The more projectiles, the better. Yeah. I, I usually use nunchuck stance and low fireball. Alright, Steve. Let's go. It's AI. Did you put it on like medium? I'm, yeah, I'm trying to do stuff. Well, you're not doing much stuff. I'm doing stuff. You just got teched by the computer. Alright. Alright, here you go. Oh. Alright. Don't mess this up. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, great. It's almost like he shot a bullet of energy through it. 
Yep. How many hits is that? 14? <laughs> <laughs> Good old 14 14 and 13. That looks, looks fun to do. Yeah. yeah. All right, so... Kung Lao's normal attacks are, you know, exactly one. A lot of chain punches. Yeah, uh, classic rapid. Kung Fu. Yep. Very, very quick. He has a slow attack that advances forward. Multi-hitting attacks. Uh, Multi-hitting screens. His jump uh, is really cool. Very, uh, is, is like forward jump without, without attacking. Oh, yeah, yeah. That movement's awesome. Super acrobatic. Yeah, it's really good. He uses his hat in his uppercut, his sweep. Like, the sweeps look so good. The way yeah. he catches it, so good. The way it goes around his body. Like yeah. It, he has, it seems almost like he controls the hat more in this game than he has before. Before, it was more of him just throwing it and things like that, but now it seems like he controls it more. Yeah, yeah. he definitely uses it more in a martial arts way. There's a confidence about the way he uses it in this game, I think. Because, truthfully, you have to be confident if you're catching a hat with a blade on the ground. Right, that's true. Right. You have to be comfortable with it. Yeah. All right, so his special attack loadout is... It's pretty much classic Kung Lao. He's got his hat toss, and he has his ability list is full of different kind of hat tosses you can do. His dive kicks back. His dive kick meter burns super cool in this. Oh. oh, Kung Lao without a dive kick is not Kung Lao. Yeah. Now the requirement for this one is interesting. It's actually hit two dive kicks in a row. So if you hit a dive kick, and let's say the opponent's going to do wake up attack, and you bait it out, jump back you'll get the crushing blow, which is just nasty. And when you have a dive kick, to do it two times in a row is pretty natural. I mean, Kung Lao players, na Kung Lao players like to talk about how they're these fundamentalists that are methodical play styles, but they're actually absolute maniacs. Right, they right. just travel across screen doing right. dive kicks. Spin is back, he has an amplified spin that actually goes forward and he gets a bigger combo. He can actually do multiple spins and combos. Ooh! What? His combos are super I've got to give you huge props right now. Yeah. You were trying to show me that one yesterday at your desk, and it was not working out well for you. I'm glad that I had forgotten that, and there was no pressure, because I forgot to panic about doing that, so I was able to do it. So I'm grateful that you didn't cut this promo about, oh, do you think you're going to drop oh, I was. I don't do that. Okay. I wasn't going to do that. But you were dropping it. Hand there you go. His teleport's back. It does have a new animation, though. The throwing the hat down is couldn't be cooler. Right. From teleport, he has a brand new move. Ooh. Oh, oh. This advancing overhead. That's awesome. That crushing blow requirement is you have to do it after you hit the throw. So the idea here is the throw, mm -hmm. obviously you to set it up. want to duck it. Right. And then he has an overhead, which if you are ducking to not get hit by the throw or duck blocking, you then get hit by the overhead. So you do the sequence. While they're on the ground, you go for it again. Did you already oh, do I must it have already reset? done it. Yeah, I must have already done it. Yeah, it's like, we've seen it. All right, there, there we, we go. go. So that's his base loadout. Mm -hmm. Let's go over his abilities. They, this is where he gets super oh, interesting. Real quick, can't you? You can meter burn teleport too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can actually meter burn the teleport to hide in the ground. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Pop up. And it's cool too. You can actually see what the hat's doing. Yeah. Like it's stuck in the ground like that. That's super cool. All right, so his abilities are extremely unique. So it started off with this orbiting hat. Yeah. With the hat, unlike orbiting him, which he does have as an option, right. the hat will orbit the opponent. And now, if the opponent gets knocked into it... They're stuck in that area, basically. Yeah. Oh. So you can see there, I actually mm. did my low attack, the opponent got knocked into it. Which means if the opponent's looking out for that and they're blocking low, you can go in for a throw, go in for a jump in, whatever. Now, this move is extremely powerful, but you'll notice this is one of the rare moves that actually takes stamina just for using it. I'm not amplifying it. Yeah, using right. the move. So you're going to actually, using your resources, which does recharge, to right. do this orbiting hat. But there, it's are, a, there are some other moves, too, that I don't know if we've completely outlined that. Yes. Just performing them does take your offensive or defensive stamina. It's pretty rare, but you're right. Gearus has one. A lot of cancels do that. So this is right. one of them. The second move I gave him is, um, what? oh, I remember, Buzzsaw Hat. Oh, the classic. So it's kind of like a kind of an MK3 style, but the cool thing is he can now hold it, and I'm Ooh. actually moving it around. I'm <laughs> moving the stick around, completely controlling it, and he can amplify it to then stay in place while he's able to move around. That just sounds nasty. It's pretty awesome with his setups. You put the saw on yourself. That's crazy. How about one more loadout? All right, I'm pretty hyped. 
This yeah, I, Kung Lao's ability. Awesome. Very, it's again, I, I hate to repeat myself, a lot like Liu Kang. It's like your base slowdown is your kind of check mark boilerplate Kung Lao, and then your abilities is where you can go nuts. Right. I'm also a huge fan of this MK3 style aesthetic for Kung Lao. Yeah. So the first one I gave him is Z Hat. He'll actually. Perform a Z. He paints the Z in yeah. his hands. And then the amplified one looks super cool. He's like, this is coming at you like this. Yeah, this does really good chip damage. It's super hard to avoid. <laughs> so good. The downside is you can see the extremely slow startup. Right. So, one of the cool things is you can actually cancel out of it. Sure. Now, while it does take stamina, you're faking the opponent out. Right. That's awesome. So, there, again, there's another example. Canceling out of the Z hat will take some of your offensive yep. um, or defensive. <laughs> It's, uh, it's taking team. defensive yeah. for cancels. And this, I'm 100% all in. He has a stance where he summons the spirit of the Great, great Kung, Kung Lao. Lao. And for, um, <laughs> so I am a huge mark for the Great Kung Lao. This guy... I hear Steve's lore minute, folks! This guy, without a knowledge of te uh, guns, rocket launchers, fireballs, pure... Shaolin Martial Arts defeated Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat and saved the Earth Realm. There is a reason he is called the Great Kung Lao. No one's calling you the Great Tyler. No. No. No, no one is calling him the Great No. Never. Never. I have always wanted to see him in the game, and I'm super happy that he is so tight, his spirit is in combat. Because he's just that badass. He's that great. Right. So Kung Lao well. gets three new moves from it. All right, let's go through them. Steve's Lorman. He gets this projectile. Ooh. If he does it three times, it gets a crushing blow. He gets an anti-air, and then this is really cool, this low stomp. And he can cancel it. So he's taking the power from the great Kung Lao. Yes. And and you and it, strengthening his own resolve. His own resolve. And power. Yes. Would that be Grandpappy Lao? I don't think it's his grandfather. I think it's way farther back than that. Great, 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 great Grandpappy Lao? That would be a question for Dom. All right. We need to get to the bottom of this. Definitely tweet him and ask him which grandfather he right, is. Right, right. He definitely oh, wants to see. How far a separation yeah. is Yeah, definitely tweet him that. Yeah, we need to know. Um, yeah. Or, or somebody else can tweet him that because we're doing a stream. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone in the chat should tweet him that yeah. right now. Oh, my. What level of Lao are yeah. they separated? I need to know. I need to know. Yeah. And so, questions are important. let's go over his fatal blow. Okay. I really like the startup because... He's reminiscent of MKX. Ah, that's awesome. Yeah, no, that would hurt. That yeah, would hurt. That, I really like the fatal blows. We just own the fact that they're essentially fatal. Yeah, right. right but right, right, because right. it's Mortal Kombat, Kano's fine. Yeah, no, he'll be fine. He's just going to get right back up. All right, so we should do a match with him? Yeah, let's yeah. take a look. Uh, let's, me and Derek will talk a little bit. Uh, you yeah. and I don't uh, have a lot of... We Friends. haven't played a lot. Oh. Yikes. Uh, we didn't play a lot of Kung Lao matches. No. No, 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 no. So maybe, maybe in the future, if you're going to do Liu Kang, yeah. I should learn Kung Lao. We could do some of those matches. Yeah, a little a Shaolin throwdown. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I'm totally in. I'd like to see it. So we're now going to get to a fatality. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do some swaggy combos. Maybe. That's, Don't that's... talk during the intro. For deadly headwear, your overheated ego. There, there's been some roastings today in the in the opening. <laughs> I absolutely love Kung Lao's face and his facial hair. Yes, like I have to say, e even in the um, the trailer that we just did, like he just looks so good. My uh, his expressions are so. He good. has two great ones. When Dearus comes back, and that one hey, with Scorpion. It's, it in, the, it's in the It's right. in the trailer. Hey. When he says our future is insane, right? Like that—that's my favorite. That's probably my favorite line Round of all thing two. in the trailer. Yeah, and I, I his, like the smirk when he uh, and when he cuts off there. Like that was easy, and the smirk that he made. Yeah, that's like, what I'm talking about. Oh, it's great. So and I love when Scorpion shoots the spear at the door and it misses him, and they're yeah. both like, "Whoa!" I, I just you know, I, you know, we big props to the the, the animation team, the, the facial mm -hmm. of the game. Yeah. Just, I mean, and people on the on Twitter are talking about it too, which is really cool for us to like see the team get those kind of props because it does look so good. Yep. All right, what do we got? The way he teleports down 
will never get old to me. <laughs> he looks so obnoxiously cocky. I here's what I like about his throws. He has one brutal, th one brutal throw, and one just disrespectful throw. The like, way the opponent ragdolls after that part is so yeah. like. Look at their arms; how they are out. <laughs> <laughs> I so love good. the go to sleep too. Yeah. All right, so Jax. Can you put him to sleep one more time? Yeah. Dra Jax is actually <laughs> drastically different from the last games, but there's still flavor there. Like he's not going to feel unfamiliar. Right. Um. So you can see some of his normal attacks. Very reminiscent of MK9. One of his core footsie tools is actually a low. It goes into this cool throw. Now you'll notice something here. Yes, I'm gonna get to that very soon. The dash punch is actually not a special move anymore, but he kind of does a Superman punch in some of his animations. You can see there. We also he has, he has back forward too. Yes, it's similar. Which is I, I, kind of I think the the reimagining yeah. of his dash punch. I love the head bob. One more normal I'd like to show is his back two. Bop, bop. He can actually fully charge it, and it's a crushing blow. Oh, that's great. Ooh. So that's a super fun crushing blow uh, one. You have to fully do it. Fully charge. All right, so now let's go over his heated arms, which mm -hmm. is the mechanic you alluded to. Every time Jax lands a punch, you can see his arms get more and more hot. And there's different levels to this. You can see... This is the, the max level. This increases the damage of all those punch attacks as he goes forward. However, it has a cooldown. When you'll wait, it'll actually run off, and as he does moves, it'll run off. From this, it does three things. It adds crushing blows. There are some moves, like you can see here, he has this string. God, <laughs> this is that, yeah, this, this is a, these are some moves you can add to the character. Yes, yes. but when it's at max, it becomes a crushing blow as well as his throw. So, the more punches he does, and he has a ton of punching at stomach. Lucky for you, Jax mainly only punches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know that's primed, and then if he goes for those moves, so like if you know, just a, a good mix-up would be, like let's say he gets you in a restand situation, throw versus strike, and if he has glowing arms, it's going to do a crushing blow. Mm -hmm. And the detail to the glowing arms, like there's smoke coming off. Oh, they right? look like, so cool. So well done. Super heated. There's also, I don't know if you have these set up in any of the loadouts, there's actually a move you can equip that will, will do it for you. There you yes. do. He also has his classic ground pound, I forgot about that. Oh, we haven't got to a special move yet. Yeah. So anyway, the second thing Heated Arms does is everything does more damage. The last thing it does is it gains access to the MK3 style missiles. He's got the double and the regular. So normally he doesn't have any zoning capabilities at all. He does have a slow fireball that'll show. But he doesn't have a traditional fireball, but with heated arms, you can expend that energy to get a really good, fast recovering projectile. And I, we've been using the energy wave lately, so I love that we brought the MK3 rockets back. Yeah, no, it's awesome. So let's go over his special moves. We already showed classic ground pound is back. He can actually do this buff. He can amplify it to get heated arms. I'm getting mad. This is his new dash punch. It's a mid. Good advancing move. Here's where things get super cool. Gotcha's back, and these options from it, I love. He has a bunch of them. This one's great. <laughs> He'll get heated arms doing it. He can actually switch sides, then continue it. And then a cool thing is, you see normally, he kind of tosses you aside. Near a corner, he gets a restand. So if he's near the corner, he can do that, throw you in the corner, or over here, Switch sides, continue it, then throw you in the corner, and then he can get his pressure. So you can see, a simple scenario would be, if he doesn't have heated arms at all, just a couple of jabs, they start to heat up, then he can get him in the corner, do a bunch of jabs to get, get him really hot, then go for this, and then he's going to have these mix-ups with the crushing blows with the heated arms. Mm -hmm. So he is absolutely deadly with slight heat and in the corner. Really, really good stuff. Uh, then he has his grenade launcher. This is one of his gear items. He has an upwards one and a straight one. His thumper. Yeah, he can amplify it, and he can mix it. He can do a straight one, or a high one, then a straight one. It's whatever. It's the same move that you hold up to do it up. So let's go over his loadout. Sure. This one I made grappling-based. I Yay. gave him the quad slam. That's the regular one. And then the full one. Oh. It does take stamina. But it's awesome. But it's awesome, yeah. 
I, I love the belly to back at the end. The second thing I gave him is the Burning Hammer, which is a new air grab, and he has two ways to do it. You can do it as a traditional down and throw, mm. or you can actually do it where he will jump up. It's back forward four, and he's actually jumping up, and you can do that in juggles. Ooh, that's so good. Yeah, I'm, that's, I'm obviously I was like super into this character. Yeah. This, this. So one more loadout. Yeah. See this? Yeah, this loader has some stuff I like too. Oh, classic jacks. Classic, classic jacks. First thing I gave him is the string. Are you gonna? Are, are you doing it? There. We, wait. It's two two one one two two. I'm not seeing it. Sir. Yeah. Why is it not working? There we go. Yeah, you don't have to tap it out that hard. You can actually just run this one. All right. There you go. Yeah. yeah. The point of that is it's a million punches, so he's going to get heated arms super, super, super fast. Second thing I gave him is this overhead slam. This is a special move that's a true overhead, and it actually launches on hit or on amplified, so he can dash in, go for gotcha. And then finally, the real showcase of this variation that I made is the duck and weave stance. So he goes into the stance, goes low, and then from here he has this mid. But like he hold him down there for a second. Yes, yeah, yeah. he can hold it down, and then from here he has a couple options. And any time I can let go and do the mid, I can amplify, and he does a pop-up. I can do four, and he'll do the overhead because I have that move equipped. And then I lastly, didn't know that. yeah, yeah, it's a special bonus. So that's another example, like the Liu Kang one, where abilities can actually stack build off on each top. other. Yeah. Yep. And then lastly, he has a low grab, and this is a true low. And he'll throw them the other way. So he has a 50-50 mix-up, a pop-up, he can avoid highs. It's a very versatile Can you stance. amplify the four through this? You don't need, no, oh yes. You mean like this part? Yeah. Yes. Oh. And go, go to sleep. sleep. So let's check out his fatal blow. something cool about that. Well, you know, it ends up heated up. Yes. Right? It's yes. kind of like, it's very similar to where Baraka places his flag at the end of his. The flag stays there. Yes. That's more damage. He gets heated up arms during his mm -hmm. fatal blow. That's awesome. So then, like, you got a fatal blow, maybe you didn't kill him. You have now projectiles to maybe finish the job. Right. Right. Or increase damage or what. Yep. Yeah. Um... Also, his facial expression, I'm going to do it again because people okay. need to screen cap this. Look at his face right before he shoots you with a rocket. It is tremendous, especially old Jax. That's good. <laughs> is that like a, a cocked eyebrow a little it's, bit? It's great. That's really good. How about you turn yourself in? No chance, Briggs. Then I'll turn you inside Damn. out. The, the fact that you can do it off of strings and not mm -hmm. just jumping in the air makes it like, oh yeah, gives it more use. So I'll do the jumping one maybe once every three matches, but the other one you'll do every match. Well, I mean, and he has like good pop ups too, right? Yeah. So I mean, it, it's not hard for you to explain that into the burning here. My hardest thing with him right now is fig figuring out what I want to build. Yeah. Because he has so many moves that I really enjoy. I love the gotcha grab, walking him towards the corner and just mm -hmm. punching them. It's just so good. Well, he has one uh, move set you can put on that like gives your moves extra qualities that are like two player animations, uh -huh. which is of course what I love to do. That's what yeah. we punch him like the one he just did right there. Nice job, Steve, just doing it the same exact time that I say it. It's crazy. You guys are really in sync. Something happened. Team Tyler's bye, 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 bye. Is that back? Yeah, hang on. <laughs> which version of this? Oh, this is the. Nope. Oh. oh. He's got a lot of bop moves. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think Jax should have a lot of bop moves. Capitalizes on the bobbins. Ooh. Oh my god. I've got the spins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right. See you, Steve. Pretty powerful, that Jax. Yeah. So good. For you, the key strategy is start off aggressive and spook him. Because he thinks this is going to be free. Who's teaching you on now? I do what I must to protect Katana. That includes attacking Jax. Round one. Fight. All right. Did start off aggressive. Shadow kick. Sometimes you have to do that. Healthy risk. Yeah, Derek's just going all in. All right. No, he's going to do this four times. Oh, wow. Already using that uppercut crushing blow. Oh, no. Right back okay. at you, Okay, okay. Come up and spell to the K. Oh, that was too early. Now, Fatal Blow does have a nine-second cooldown. It's, it's pretty significant. In fighting game terms, that's like nine years. Just ducking, patient. Not a lot of life here, though. Oh, Jade puts glow on. It's exactly it. Jade is it's pretty hard to zone her. Nice job. Hoody hoo! Round two. Fight. I like that Derek started no. off aggressive, got the life lead, and then actually started playing patient. Strange strategic decision from Derek. The, cor the correct strategic decision. Strategic decision, but strange. Glows up. Almost hit a combo. Almost. Tyler is in a lot of trouble here. Oh, oh let's see go. if you go. Yeah, you went for the restand. Shoot. Goes for that knee. Definitely one of Sonya's best mids. Dang it. It's one of her fastest. Mids is not her greatest strength, so it's a really good move. Her back one is her best move, but that's a high. So she kind of she off. can't use the back down. one until she establishes the forward four. It's kind of an interesting metagame and neutral for her. Fatal Blow in play for both, and it would win. Let's see if Tyler can get through the zoning now. Very good patience from both. I, I like what I'm seeing here. No one's freaking out. Oh. Oh, very close. Nope. Could not survive it. Ooh. Bing! Nice job. A lot of zoning. I think Tyler's doing a good job dealing with it, but he's not actually advancing forward. Yeah. But, but you're doing a good job not dying. So that's half the battle. Well, I did die. Yeah, but it took you a while to die. You didn't just panic like a chicken. Yeah, I know. Off. I would like a liquid refreshment, please. I'd like to take a moment. That's serious. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready. How do I look, Steve? Good. Okay. You look prepared. Okay, thank you. You look confident. Let's see if Tyler's shaken up, because I warned him if things go bad. You don't want to get too cocky if things go bad, and he told me, I don't do that anymore. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I feel fine. He says he feels fine. Maybe he is fine. Tyler's backing up. I like Derek using the uppercut just to create space. Their uppercuts are really good in this game. There's a lot of talk on Twitter of people freaking out, but it's like, it's Mortal Kombat. Uppercuts should be good. Like in MK2, when I was like 12, I wasn't like worried about uppercuts being too good. It was tight. Pretty much an even match right here. Goes, goes for the leg grab. Oh, no punish though. Big combo. Ooh, big combo, right? Yeah. Dang, Tyler. Now that's an example of iteration, because Sonya, that move, that anti-air move, did not launch like that at the reveal event. So it was oh. actually a little preview. Well done, Tyler. Thank well you. done. Round two, fight. Oh, I, I like the fake oh, out with the right. jump. Did not actually do the air glaive like you thought. And Tyler just advancing forward slowly. Chinook's bone side. Oh. I don't know if, even if I was a Revenant, if I would want to live in a bone temple. Like, it seems really filthy. Like, even my apartment's never been this bad. Oh, oh. Probably should have full color. Yeah, there. that's fine, though. It's still a punish. And you should have reverse direction to keep yep. her in the corner. Especially because the interactable's not there anymore. So there were, like, ten mistakes there. But that's fine. 
Oh, good air to air. Leg grab. Um, oh, both are using, both fatal blows are in play. Oh, and that's gonna me. be that's gonna be the round. I got too jumpy there at the end. Oh, that might not be it. Yeah, that no, oh, that's it. it. We always forget that last a little, little pop bit, that happens. A little bit. So Derek's actually on set point here. Tyler is playing pretty good though. It's just a matter of getting in one or two times. Taking his time. Nope. No jumping. Good flawless block. Oh, good oh. combo. It hurts. Break away. Oh, wow. I was about to say Derek was going to have no defensive stamina, but he got that uppercut off. That was that was absolutely critical. Onion rings. Oh. This fatal blow could win the whole set here. Tyler can hit it. He's getting desperate. Big uppercut. Oh. No! And the fatal blow hits. That, that might be it. Oh, if that's not it, it's going to be super... I think that's it. I think we're going to a third game. Maybe not? No, Yeah, stop. we're done. The stinking stop. stop! We just talked about that. that this is a really good set. Ugh. I thought for... All right, I'm going to give you props. I thought for sure you were going to freak out about those air glaives, wet your pants, and die of a heart attack live on stream, and you actually held it together I'm back in. and got, managed to win. Yeah. That might have been the most patient you have ever been I, in I'll your say, entire life. I was super scared about the air glaives there because I was like, yeah. I was going to lose. You, I'm flabbergasted. Yeah, it was tough. He's playing well. He's, he's, he's keeping me out like he wants to. I just need to stay patient. He's playing patient. Remember an hour ago when you were gone like that I don't give you enough props? I'm giving you props. You complain that you don't get enough props? Oh, absolutely. He was going ape, but I don't do enough props. Why enlist with him? Wow. It was the other way around, to be honest. <laughs> I believe so. No, you don't. All right, so let's see. Big combo here. Break away. Same thing That's we saw last time. Same thing last time. I understand Tyler wants to be aggressive after the breakaway. Like, the big thing to keep in mind about breakaway is the opponent has no stamina, but you don't want to get too aggressive and run into those uppercuts. One thing about breakaway is if you actually read it's coming, it's better to cut your combo short and do like a big chunky thing. Like, an uppercut would be good. Something that, a single hit that does a lot of damage. Because even though they have armor and they flip out, they're still taking the damage. So. You can like do an uppercut and then leave them standing and then go for some pressure. It's something I think as the game moves on, you're gonna have to get really good at. Is like reading when they're gonna do it. Do they want to use their stamina? Are, you know, are they in a situation where they're gonna die if they? No, don't? I was blocking. This is full of lies. The game doesn't lie. It's ones and zeros. Oh. The numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you. It sure does right now. Thank you, friend. All right. This is really good. Yeah, this is a great set. I'm very impressed in, in both your play. You guys are... Oh, I keep getting hit by the skin over. Oh. Messed up. Messed up the conversion. That's okay. Don't get nervous now. Not in your moment of triumph. And Derek is just throwing the kitchen sink, zone it. Good block. I'm trying to go in with Jade. It's working. Oh, onion rings. No more stamina, though. No more onion rings. Oh wow, good uppercut. Forward four. Bone scythe is in play. Oh, oh the bone scythe. Should have amplified Come it. Come on now. Big crushing blow. Good, decent conversion, decent conversion. It's me that has it, not you. Yeah, I pushed the button. But that is mashing. Oh no. I, I said the same thing and you can't say nothing. I actually hit my uh, oh, the bumper. bumper. <laughs> yeah, that. That's heartbreaking because he would have been on that nine second cooldown. And we're going to the last round. This has got to be the best set you guys have ever played. Pretty good. All right, who's going to freak out? Who's going to drop their combos? Or are we just going to see clean play? Are we going to go down to the wire with clean, clean play? And keep in mind, Derek just used this fatal blow. Oh, 
Wow, good throw counter. Yeah. Air glaives, making hay with those air glaives. Damn, I'm a big fan. Big time. fan of zoning Jade. Well, nice, dude. That was good. No. Goes to the throw. Tyler with a very slight lead. Very slight. A couple of glaives and this lead will be... Oh, oh that's huge. Nice. You know the requirement for that. It's yes. If the first doesn't hit and the second does, that was a big... That was a game changer. That's why I like the charge one because the timing's different. Right. It's, it, those things are really fast and have really good recovery. Oh, critical throw break. We might go... Derek does not have Fatal Blow, though. If he did, I would say this is anyone's game. The lack of that Fatal Blow is huge. That is the number one thing about that mechanic. you got to be careful about when you use it. He is a couple of throws away, though. And you don't want to lose a bunch of life trying to zone when she's got Glow on, when you just got to close this out. There's not a lot of time, either. There's no reason to get desperate. Oh! And the air glaive got into me. me. You absolutely just stop doing anything. Oh, with those air I just yeah, I got, I got, I didn't know where to go in on it. I got a little uh, flustered. Awesome.